Okay, let's get this show on the road. First of all, we got Buffalo, Cleveland, in Buffalo. Uh, I know Buffalo is pretty sorry this year, but I really think Cleveland is on a different level of suck, and um, they should have tied last week against uh, Cincinnati, really, which is impressive, but I think that Cleveland team is sorry on a different level from a team like Buffalo, so... I think Buffalo wins. I have seven confidence points. I see a lot of people picking Cleveland in this game, and I, I can't pick Cleveland in any circumstance, really, because I don't think people understand just how bad they are. Uh, Pittsburgh at Detroit. <laughs> no Palomalu, so Calvin Johnson will probably have a big game. But too little, too late in all likelihood. I say Pittsburgh, 12 confidence points. I could see this game being kind of close score-wise, but there's no way Pittsburgh loses this, right? That, that'd that be crazy. That'd be something else. Um, Dallas versus Kansas City in Kansas City. I, I still don't see what makes Dallas good. I really don't, but while I think Kansas City will play a close game with Dallas, I'm pretty confident Dallas wins. Nine confidence points in Dallas winning. Um... You know, with the coaching matchups that we're looking at here with here with all the old Dallas coaches and and the fact that Kansas City's at home and Kansas City did show a little bit of life last week against Gi the Giants. I can see this being a close game, but there's no way Dallas loses this game. If they lose this game, then it's Bedlam in Valley Ranch. So I got to believe they'll take care of that. Uh, Minnesota at St. Louis. <laughs> yeah, boy. Um... I'm a little worried about a letdown game, but Minnesota, 13 confidence points. The Rams are barely an NFL team at this point, so there's... I mean, the line for this game is only like 10.5 points. They could not make that line high enough. I would probably take Minnesota if Minnesota was favored by 82 points. I, I could never bring myself to taking the the Rams in any circumstance. There, there are just so many awful teams in the league this year, and I, I don't know if I ever see myself picking them unless they play each other. But, yeah, Minnesota, 13 confidence points. Uh, we got the Giants playing Oakland in the Meadowlands. Uh, the Eli injury has me worried a little bit because this seems a little too easy, but with I heard something about maybe Tom Cable might actually get arrested soon, so... I gotta believe that just zaps the energy out of a football team, so I'm gonna go with the Giants, 11 confidence points, and yes, I am betting on the Giants, minus 17 or whatever it is. Uh, at Philadelphia, Tampa Bay is traveling to Philadelphia, 14 confidence points. I, I'm a little concerned about the possibility of Philadelphia half-assing it, but I still think Tampa Bay is really so god-awful they couldn't even take advantage of that. So I'm taking Philadelphia 14 confidence points, and yes, I'm betting on Philadelphia minus 15 and a half or whatever the hell it is, whatever that line is. So those three teams, if those three teams all cover their massive spreads, Minnesota, New York, and Philly, I am in the money this weekend. If it doesn't happen, um, I'm not so good, but... That's a three-way bet, so I expect all these top ten teams to t crush these awful teams. Uh, Carolina, Washington, in Carolina. Both these teams are garbage, but I do get the sense that Carolina is much better garbage. Even though Washington's won some games, it, it's been really ugly, so I'm going to say Carolina, three confidence points. It's, it's kind of weird, 2-2 two and 0-3, two and, oh and, and I still think the 0-3 oh team's much better. It's in Carolina, too, so... Excuse me. Sorry, it's kind of late over here. I will take Carolina, three confidence points. Baltimore, Cincinnati... Um, I gotta believe Baltimore's gonna be extra angry after last week, losing that game that I know they feel like they should have won. So... Uh, Cincinnati's good, and they're coming off an embarrassing game last week, too, I guess. So I'm going to be cautious. It's in Baltimore. I'm going to say Baltimore wins four confidence points. That that seems about right. Um, Atlanta at San Francisco. A lot of different things going on here. I think San Francisco's the better team. I think they're at home, 
which is a nice advantage. But Atlanta's coming off a bye, which should be significant. But more than anything, the Niners do not have Frank Gore. Um, I think that'll be just enough to tip it to Atlanta. I'm going to say Atlanta two confidence points because, really, I don't know if that Atlanta team is very good right now. With what I saw when they played the Patriots, I was disappointed in them. And it got me thinking, maybe they're not that good. So they got to prove it to me. And if they can't beat San Francisco without Frank Gore, then that's going to sh- tell me that they're a pretty average as of right now. Um, New England at Denver. Oh, boy. I, I could see New England put a beat down. I, I mean, I'm going to pick Denver in this game, one confidence point, because going against New England is scary. But I could see New England putting a beat down on Denver and making me feel stupid. But um, if Denver stays within their game, if you know they don't turn it over, they should win because their defense is playing lights out right now. Um, they're running the ball well. New England might actually get Gerard Mayo back, which would be huge. But... I'm going to say Denver wins. I think they're the better team. I think they're at home, and I'm expecting a good game, and I think I get it on TV. I'm not sure if I do, but hopefully I do because it's going to be good, but it's always scary to go against New England. Arizona, Houston in Arizona. Both these teams are basically the same. Um, You know, I I don't know. I mean, I, I could see Houston pulling it out because I don't know how motivated Arizona is playing right now, but... I'm going to say Arizona, I think they're a slightly better team, and they're at home. Five confidence points in Arizona winning. Uh, I don't know. That That's a tough one. Uh, Seattle, Jacksonville, like I said, I already expect to win. I'm going to say six confidence points because I'm not overwhelmingly convinced that this team is... Uh, I mean, I'm not giving up on the team yet, but they got to show me something. So I'm going to play it a little safe. Indianapolis at Tennessee... Uh, people are being very careful with this game, but I, I just think Tennessee's bad. I don't see how Tennessee's good. I think it's time to give up on them. I thought they were decent before last week, but now I just think they're horrible. So I'm going to pick Indianapolis, eight confidence points, and be careful about trying to outsmart yourself here. here just, just take the Colts. It's not a guarantee or anything, but th- that Tennessee team, what have they shown you? What, is the, what have they shown anybody in their first four games? And finally, the Jets taking on Miami. People are kind of riding Miami a little bit because they looked a lot better with Chad Henney in there. It's in Miami. The Jets are a division rival, but I still think the Jets are a really good team. I think they bounced back from last week. They beat down at the hands of the Saints, and I say they win. Ten confidence points. Those are my picks. See you guys later.